So Barney, tell me about this piece. It's really spectacular. Well, Laura, this is um, this is a piece called my trans transitional piece, and it was from the days of rustic. This is all red willow twigging, and this, of course, is wood made to look like steel. Here I've used uh, some industrial mixing with the rustic for a new style of industrial rustic. Um, here you'll see a little coffee table, side table, which is all welded steel. It has a really nice patina. And we actually buried this table for a year and a half. We dug a hole, buried it, and let the earth get into the metals and all. And then when we recovered it, we brought it in the shop and we welded this lip right here. And as we welded it, we burned through the original patina, sanded it, and then we put a new finish on top, just a clear finish. And it achieved really a, a magnificent uh, organic, earthy, textured finish. And you use a lot of found materials in your work. Yeah, I use a lot of found materials. This happened to be a smelter's hook from a foundry. This steel here, we actually cut ourselves out of old steel. Uh, it's all cut with a plasma cutter. And then the heavy inch and three quarter steel was all torch cut. You've got a few other things sort of peeking around the edges here. Yeah, this is a combination of, of again, of steel and painting, being an artist. Uh, so we took an old acetylene tank uh, from the, the, the welding and, and cutting industry, and we cut it and pinched it together to make it look like a, like a paint tube. And then added a lot of the um, found objects. This steel has been cut in shape. This has all been cut in shape. This particular one with all the nice big rivets was part of a hub on a big industrial machine. And we did maintain some of the orange, original orange color, and then we uh, varnished it. So it has a, has a satin varnish finish. And uh, yeah, we'll, um, this'll be nice when it's on an upright base. And you've got some uh, more finished pieces around the corner? Well, here's another piece. We, we actually made three of these. So one is in California, Malibu, California. And it's for a writer. And she sets her books on, on here and displays whatever she, else she would like to display. It's two-sided. It almost feels like a divider. And these are all sand mats from back in the day of the army where they would take grids of these sand mats and lay them on the sand and drive the trucks over them. Mm -hmm. So we've cut them apart, welded them together to create part of this, uh, this form. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. You've got a few other interesting things in your shop here. Well, you know, you it's, it's always see. an art show, Laura. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we do have our art show signs uh, that we've used on and off. And then here we have a nice whimsical little um, yellow birch table. My nephew, Charlie Brown, who worked with me extensively back in the 90s, um, will come up once in a while and we'll throw a little something together. And, and so Charlie's been working on this one a little bit with me. Um, I always say about Charlie, he may not be the best twigger in the world, but I don't know any better. 